Hey Gemini, and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of February 2022. We'll start by pulling a court card for you to see how you're showing up for the month of February. The King of Cups. All right, the King of Cups, he cannot be shaken for sure. He sits on his rigid, <laughs> rigid, you know, very stable structure of this, what looks like concrete and shell uh, throne and the choppy waters underneath are indicative that while conditions may be choppy he himself is just straight up chilling all right you are the king of cups you can weather any storm right now Gemini I wonder what is the opportunity for you showing up right now in this sort of very laid-back and secure within yourself energy what's going on in your life Okay, we have the Six of Swords. You are moving. You are transitioning. Maybe you're literally moving this month. Maybe you're moving past um, a situation that you had been dealing with in the past. If there's been something on your mind, um, just know that it is coming to an end. So uh, your challenge then is uh, ju the judgment card, um, self-awareness, or rather a lack of self-awareness. Um, where are you going? Are you getting too big for your britches here? Um, a message that I'm getting is to watch out for the ego because the King of Cups, you know, how do I say, he's, he can, you know, at, at best he is in control, he, is, he has a masterful control of his emotions. Um, if the opportunity then is the Six of Swords, leaving that okay i think that there might be something happening for you this month that will cause you to get off that throne maybe want to throw a tantrum okay so the challenge then is how do you how do you um you know exercise self-awareness to the extent that you will not be shaken by something that comes up for you. Let's pull some more cards and see what's actually happening. The Queen of Wands is your goal here. The foundation is the wheel. Hmm. So the wheel is like the, the wheel of karma. Things go up and things come down. Um, it looks like this is your time to shine, Gemini. Um, and maybe it's built up um, uh, your ego. Maybe you're realizing that um, good things are really starting to happen for you and um, you're leaving behind an old life. Well, look at that. In the past, then you have the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. Yeah, your emotional center, how you uh, process things, maybe your outlook has changed. You are literally graduating. You're, you're becoming a more elevated uh, version of yourself. Hmm. And so another message I'm getting here is the Queen of Wands, fire, right? Inspiration, um, influence. Uh, it's possible that as the king, right, graduating into the king status now in the month of February, uh, you might have a lot more influence. Uh, maybe you're getting more attention. Ace of Wands, that means yes. You're getting a lot of attention right now. And I think that's making you feel very confident. That's amazing. But again, I, th I feel like there's like an ego thing going on here. Uh, make sure you're not getting too big for your britches. You are, though, like actually incredibly powerful influential, becoming be, becoming a person with more influence, um, and just growing as a person. It's your time. It's just plain and simple. So what's happening here, that we have the Hermit as well, and the Ten of Pentacles as the environment. You are um, building the foundational elements of your life, or the foundational elements of your life are coming into place and that's maybe is what's giving you confidence in um, sharing what's going on in your life or um, really wanting to enjoy um, 
the fruits of that labor, the legacy, like having that sort of confidence and in, in, in looking at it and saying, look at what I'm building. I think you're very, there's a lot of pride here. It's important that you're showing up as the King of Cups energy here um, because it tells me that you understand and you come from, I think, a place where you understand that life is cyclical and there's good things and there's bad things. And so good things and bad things like the wheel goes up, the wheel goes down and life just keeps turning. And so I think that you are already conditioned to maybe think in such a way that I will always be prepared for the worst. But I think that you've just spent so much time seeking that which is good in life. Um, and maybe in the past it just had not been like, it had not formula for formalized, it hadn't like, it hadn't come into existence yet. It is, something is, something is coming now that's giving you an opportunity to really enjoy um, the work that you put in, the time that you put in seeking this opportunity. Like all that you've learned, I think, valuable skills in the waiting period. Um, skills around when to share your emotions, when to not. I think you kn you know and have like a lot of different boundaries around your emotions. At the same time, in your own way, cautious, cautiously optimistic about the future. You, I think you are this month finally realizing this about yourself. And so, yeah, you're leaving a, a little bit of that cautious optimism into more um, just positivity um, and allowing yourself to, to, to just be happy for yourself. Hmm. Yeah, so now that this opportunity is here, Gemini, I feel like you are working very hard on some sort of legacy here. You're, you don't want the universe to take this away from you ever. I feel like you're like, I'm not going back. But you're always still, and we're going back to the cautiously optimistic thing. You're, I think, deep down, always afraid that what, what would happen if... Um, if I, if this was taken away from me. And so you're not allowing, the universe brought you this thing and now you're like really hands on. I feel that you fear that if you were to um, simply allow more things to flow in and out of your life. Hmm. So that's what, um, maybe that's, maybe that's what it was like in the past for you allowing things to sort of flow in and out and you're not really responding to anything just yeah whatever comes comes and whatever goes goes something is here now that is worth fighting for i think you found your thing you found your found something that makes you feel powerful something that makes you feel um, inspired and it's a brand new beginning for you so you are having to leave a part of that behind, this part of you that you're aware of that allows things to just laissez-faire in and out. So now that's become a fear, okay? While you're building this thing that feels like your legacy, you're understanding more of your own uh, motivations and how you show up, you know, your, where your energy is. I think you're now willing to do the work for this thing to stay. You don't want to give it up. Yeah, Ten of Swords is the outcome. Hmm. You know, I think you're really trying to rejuvenate or like cleanse this sort of mindset of um, I simply don't care. Although on the surface, again, and the King of Cups can be taken this way. He's so in control of his emotions that you cannot read him. He's got the ultimate poker face. 
And so part of the message here, Gemini, for this month is leaving behind that poker face, right? Or maybe, in any case, there's a movement away from, like, this facade or, like, this idea that you have to be in control all the time. Because that's, it's wrapped up in your fears, too, the hanged man. Gemini, another message I'm getting is sort of like, there, because there's, it's almost like it goes both ways. Either you're somebody who has been very laissez-faire and like not really emotionally attached to any one thing so that you can't be disappointed. Um, or you found a great sense of freedom in um, not really showing the universe one way or the other what you care about. In any case, I think you, you're going to have to start showing you care more because that's where your power is. That's where your inspiration lies. And that, that is your power of influence there. How is the universe going to know what to bring you um, when you're um, showing, what you're showing the world is, I don't really care all that much. Um, I think that, <laughs> yeah, this has been, I believe, your lesson of self-awareness, like understanding your propensity to come to the table with like, I care, but I don't care. Like, this is your thing. I don't know. Um, in the outcome cards, we have the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So to me, that's just saying, you know, the end of some sort of cognitive cycle that has been destructive. How are you thinking about situations in your life is changing and it's being replaced with something that is way more connected to your willpower, your inner creativity, your strengths. Uh, maybe this is, there, 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 I feel a little bit of conflict here, but maybe this is how we can put it all together, where uh, your sense of apathy or just like control is now your source of strength because you're using that to like not show your cards as you make moves um, and you're able to influence the outcome of a situation. Your self-awareness there. On the bottom of the deck we have the magician just popping in to say, hello, you've been creating something um, in your world. You've been in your power. Um, let's see here. Show me more about the Ace of Wands. What is this new opportunity for Gemini? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I, it almost feels like something which has felt like a curse is turned into a blessing. Um, this, lack, this lack mentality, five of pentacles, eight of wands, five of cups. Um, there's been a lot of change, again. Um, something has rapidly sort of converted from a sense of lack. And then there is grief here. But I feel like this is all wrapped up in some sort of karmic lesson, as in the lesson has the lesson for you, Gemini, is to see um, your strengths and sort of the beauty of it all in the things in the in the things and the challenges that life brings to us. And so, this is a a, a situation that is rapidly developing. I'd say for you, uh, maybe finally contextualizing in the month of February. Uh, let's get some more advice. The King of Pentacles, stability, Knight of Pentacles, hard work, and the Two of Wands, yeah. So this is connected to, uh, again, your power. You're showing up sort of in a very powerful position, um, you know, taking care of your finances, building your sense of power and worth and um, I think this is tied to the Ten of Pentacles as well. The Knight of Pentacles says that this is a routine. This is something that you're doing every single day to grow and to expand. Um, and maybe this is a decision that every day you have to wake up and decide that this is what I'm doing today. This is how I'm going to approach this. This is how I'm seeing myself today. This is how I'm feeling myself today. And so it's sort of always orienting yourself toward the things that you're building. 
so that you could see the, how much potential there is, that this is a new beginning. You're waking up every day feeling inspired. That is a departure from the King of Cups, who's, again, a bit laissez-faire and just being like, yeah, it's all good. Again, he's like a master of his emotions, and so I see him sort of as like somebody who masks very well. And so even if you feel that inspiration inside and it's always been there, maybe that's the case, you haven't been showing it. I feel like what's changing is like you're now doing things every single day. I don't know if you have a ritual or something that is actually ten tending to that flame inside of you. Okay? That's what I got for you, Gemini, for the month of February. I hope that this helps. If you like the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel so that I can see you on the next one. Take care.